This particular weekend, the plan was to stay in St. George, Utah to do some garage selling, but a cold front moved in that Friday night. So Saturday morning, everyone woke up to about 38 degree weather, so there was no yard sales. Same thing was going on in Las Vegas, but it was about 15 degrees warmer, so I decided that I would head down to Las Vegas to do a full yard sale day. We did amazing. It was a bit windy, so be prepared a little bit for that, but I did my best to edit those things out, and let's get right into it. Hands for the camera. Sammy. La camera, ven. Desa quiero 20. 20. And the makeup, the maquillaje. Okay. Eh, this one is $1, this one. And this one, 20, 20, 20. Five dollars. Oh, those birds? Yeah, ask them how much all that stuff. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first glimpse of my beautiful wife, Brinley. Um, when you when you Google search J-Ride Flips, the first thing that auto-populates is wife, and then it's J-Ride Flips eBay store, and then it's J-Ride Flips net worth. So you guys have definitely been interested in seeing and meeting my wife. Her name is Brinley. She's awesome. She is a D1 athlete who finally finished her soccer career. Because of NIL deals and different NCAA laws, we uh, just decided that we wouldn't put her on the YouTube channel because I'm a business entity. She's on a full ride scholarship. NIL deals have to be there. It's just really weird. So we just decided that she wouldn't be on the chan a monetized channel at all. And for the second reason, because comments are brutal on YouTube, but especially on TikTok. Uh, so we just decided to protect her from comments. But now we've decided that she would like to be on the channel from time to time. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing her from time to time on both of my channels. And as you guys will see in this video, she's a she's a very good picker. So it was awesome to have her around. Let's go this girl right here. How much for you? Um, 30. 30. And then how much for you? 20. 20. 20. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, 30, 20. I'd do 10. You put the Xbox back and then put the Birkenstocks here. Okay. All right, I'm about to do this transaction in Spanish. Uh, so basically I get everything there for $45 with all of that makeup plus the Birkenstocks. I've actually done a deep dive into makeup since this video and I've, and I've actually added a lot of makeup to my store. I bought a ton of really good stuff. A lot of it has already sold. I wish I would have just bought the whole table minus a few things, but now I know a lot more about makeup and I'm actually going to be listing a lot more makeup in the future. Uh, but yeah, that was a really good haul and uh, it's awesome to have my wife help me out there. También hablo español. Oh. Entonces, son cinco y cinco? Diez. Diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete. No, this one is five. It's oh. the mark. Okay. 
¿Y esos? Five. Five, five, y seven. Ok, entonces 10, 16, 21, 26 y 7. 7. Entonces 33. Y quieren 20. 10 está bien. No. 43. 15. 48. 45 para todo. Ok. Ok. This is a fake Gucci watch. Everything on this table was either fake or low value, but we found some other really good stuff at this garage, so. We've got another table full of makeup here. Again, I probably would have gotten a few things off of this table, but I didn't. But now I'm much more dangerous with my newfound knowledge of some makeup. Oh, nice. As I enter this garage here, the draft from the wind just becomes way too loud, so I'm just going to go ahead and voice over here. I find this DVD VCR combo player. It goes for about $30 on eBay. It's the Slovenia model. Um, it has a price tag of $10 on it. I offer five. She goes ahead and accepts that. Uh, five into 30 plus shipping is, is about where you want to be on these ones. I probably wouldn't have paid 10 for this. Smith? No. Mm -hmm. You're on the right track though, honey. Doorknob. You have to look thick to get this. These ones? Uh-huh. Do you know what size this is? Oh, this is... This, this is clean, right? Clean, right? Clean. Alright. How much for these? Can you do five for this? Okay. Okay. So that would be five. Ryan. Make, make a nice bunch and we give you. Make a nice little bundle. I just want this. That's it. All these kind of there's some good dirty. there's some good stuff here. But. Very good. And, and oh. also, we have a, we have a mirror, we have a freezer. Oh that's way too big. We're from Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Only small stuff. You from Utah? Yeah. Are you visiting here? Yeah, just visiting. Just hanging out with some friends and stuff. And going to yard sales. Vegas is the best place to be. Vegas is pretty nice. Thank you. Utah's great. <laughs>
I love St. George yard sales, but like one out of three or four are just okay. baby clothes and, and toys and stuff. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, see, so you see, you see the stuff that I don't see, you know? Wait, that's like gorgeous. I would buy that for you. Well, ask them how much it is. Or I'll ask them. Oh, yeah. There we go. How much do you want for this? No, it is a go video. Oh, it's a, it is a recorder. Those ones used to sell really well, but not anymore. Later on in the day, I actually meet up with Archie Biscuit Butt. You guys should check out his YouTube channel. Unfortunately, I thought that I had three GoPro batteries charged, but I only had one. Him and I hit up a Deseret Industries and like 15 more yard sales and got a ton of really good stuff. Fortunately, I didn't get the footage though. Yeah, For this. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Two. Use that of and then that like ceramic three. stuff at the front. Yeah, and uh, have 30, little, um, 30 for all of it. Yeah. 30 bucks? Do you just want like the serving yeah. baking tray or something? Yeah, like I would just want just this and maybe that. It's okay. I can well, I'll just ask him. As you guys can see throughout this video, I'm constantly looking things up to determine not only their value, but also their sell-through rate, how quickly the item is moving. I base my business around sell-through rate. I only pick up items that are actually in demand and that people are currently purchasing. What do you guys think about this strategy? I know a lot of people disagree with looking things up. Um, they say there's pros and cons to it. The pro is I actually understand what the current market is and whether I'm going to make a good or a bad buy. The cons are um, I could have gotten to more items more quickly. What do you guys think in the comments below? Do you guys look things up? Should you? Do you think we should look things up? Or do you think we should just blind buy and deal with the consequences later? Would you do just the cake ban in one bowl or are you trying to do it all together? Yeah, that's one. that's what I Thank thought. You. Yeah. I hope for all of it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes a lot more sense. All right, well, I'll give you two dollars for this. <laughs> yeah, you can't get those anymore. Yeah, you sure can. I, I, was, I wasn't sure. Oh, no. Well, now it's broken. No, it'll be fine. Well, you know, now it just <laughs> now it's a still, dollar. It's still worth its value. <laughs> yep. Sweet. Thank you guys. Good luck on selling it back. <laughs>